Hi hey everybody, it's me, Mode for Jitch Gaming, and uh, we are back on uh, Feed the Beast uh, server. <coughs> so, this is Season 2, Episode 1, and uh, this is a new spawn because there was a map reset. Map was, I mean, the spawn was built by, uh, I don't know who put this here. Spawn was built by Zach. Um, so yeah. So, so yesterday I found out that I got raided, and uh, I moved everything. I still had these wooden crates, which they have things inside. Um, so I'm just trying to go far away as possible, and. Also, if you guys have noticed, um, when I am recording, uh, on the mini-map you see on the right-hand side, the cords are not showing and the north, west, and south compass, I took it off so then it's harder for someone to find where I am. Because I know in the previous episodes I used to have the cords and I used to have um, northwest south on the compass but now I took it off because I don't want to get raided then I got raided multiple times before and it's not so fun even though the server does allow raiding I just try to have fun on the server but then there's people that um, there's people that like raiding. I was trying to get the hat, but I already have the hat. <coughs> Let me just see if this is recording. Yes, it is. Alright, so we're trying to go far away as possible. I don't think nobody has been in this area because yesterday I was flying around and uh, it was when it said removed all the lag it was saying that you had like 500 entities or something that got removed so basically I still had my armor before I got raided it was on me and uh, still have these belt of flight that's why I'm flying in the air so yeah so I'm just gonna try to fly I don't know how far I want to go but I want to go really really far and I'm not gonna use my weapons too much because I know I took my RF um, generator that I had that powered the that I had like what what am I saying wait um, there's a volcano right here so what it's saying was that I had an RF uh, machine which I had to take down and take it with me because I'm not leaving it in the old uh, um, old base. I try to move around. If you do get raided, usually the first thing you do is you move out immediately. Otherwise, the person that might raid you again might come again, and then you don't have no chance of. I keep that. They have no chance of staying there. Well, you can stay there if you want, but then I have a higher chance of getting raided again. Anything inside here? I already have that at. So the IP of this server would be in the description. Will be in the description. <coughs> if you guys would want to join. I actually like these fences I'm just gonna take one I should take two 
It's a pretty awesome ice fence. So one of these crates have ores in it and one of them has just random things that I'm collecting. <laughs> Should just grab some food from here. I don't know who raided me, but good job to you. Um, I'm going to probably go far, 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 epic far away so you can't find me like I did in the previous the map that we had before. It was me and my friend Vintage. We had our own uh, dimension where nobody could raid us. The only thing is... If you don't power the dimension, the power, the dimension uh, collapses and then you die inside, if you're stuck inside. So I did have a dimension, but Zex said, I was complaining that it was lagging, and uh, I think Zach went to check. I'm not too sure if Zach raided me, because then, then that would be admin abuse, if that, if, if that's so. Because I was asking on the forums, it's on the forums too if you guys want to check, but it says um, there was one day that I was lagging a lot, so I went on the forums and I typed it in the ma main ch chat, and uh, Zach responded by saying, I'll go check to see, check it out, and... So, I think Zach went to check it out. So, I don't know if he raided me or he just, he said it was my glowstone dimension. So, I already destroyed my glowstone dimension. So, I don't know if, if it was still there. Like, even if you delete the, the blank dimension paper thingy, if your dimension still stays there. So, I don't know. But I can say, hopefully not. It's not like admin abuse where he just teleported to the base and then oh look, some more, some more of these that I can steal. Just hope that he actually did it legit, not something like he teleported and then he saw whatever he wanted in my base and he took it, because then. Technically, that is admin abuse. If you're raiding someone while it's claimed that you're not doing your job. Ors. Right, uh, let's see, maybe I should just steal this too, because these lamps are pretty awesome looking. Nine emeralds and you get an epic shade grab bag. I don't have nine emeralds. Welcome! Hey! This probably might be boring for some people that don't like watching someone just fly around. But... It is kind of fun because you get to explore land that's not discovered yet. Oh look, I found this kind of biome. These biomes have like tentacles coming out of the ground. That's why it's called tinted land. Is there a village right in the... Wow. See, sometimes these things don't generate 
but then after it generates one but once you come into the area so I'm just gonna steal these because I can use these but I kind of find it funny how somebody raided me and it was my base was claimed unless it's thumbcraft then it's explainable because thumbcraft can bypass claims and you can also pick up stuff and then on the other hand if somebody just went in the base like an admin or something and then they saw whatever they liked and they picked it up then technically that is admin abuse Oh, there's a door here. Some people might say it's not. Uh, if you think about it, it kind of is. Ooh, what is this? Fire protection. Which I'm going to steal that because maybe I can use that for something. I don't know what I can use it for, but uh, we will... Check it out. Don't tell me I destroyed. Oh, I still have it. I was gonna scream. Be like, it was in my hand, I got destroyed. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I just came for the. Let's see if there's anything in here. Dimension. I take this. I don't want pile of ash. I will take all this stuff and I think there is what else did I need I rated that I rated that oh yeah there's a dimension house over here we could actually come on could use this to go somewhere I don't know which dimension this is but these you can actually use to make something it's RF dimension RF uh, tools but I have to probably google to see what it is used for and I think I already had one chest full of this somewhere I think I probably just find a chest. Uh, it's in this chest. Well, you can't put that separate owned by ownership set correctly. This is full. And uh, then you got this one that's full. So that guy left. Alright. We don't want to spend too much time in this village because you want to keep on going. See, most of the, the stuff that I actually get, I actually get it from. Oh, there's some monster inside. Most of the stuff that I get, it's actually from. Who the hell are you attacking, boy? You wanna die? Yeah, most of the stuff that I get, they're actually from villages. Villagers. Villages. That I actually get. I don't need this. He keeps that. Gonna keep on moving along. Like the bookshelves, I use it to make uh, make myself an enchantment room. The other thing is, people only raid you because because they don't have those kind of things that you might have. That's the only reason people raid you, or they do it because like I had like a bunch of real craft stuff. 
Um, oh, the funny thing was I had an ender chest, and I thought ender chest is supposed to be locked and feed the beast. Infinity evolved. But when I checked after I got raided, it was like empty, so... I don't know if you can make like an ender chest that's only private to yourself. Because I remember the first time I saw most of my stuff was um, not there. So I was like wondering probably that time somebody did raid me. So now we're just actually flying around and trying to find hats and we're trying to go far far away some hats I already have so I think I already have this nope so far we have 27 pages of hats I think I already had this well the most the best place to go hunting for um, hats is go in the mushroom biomes you probably might find more I think last the last map I actually did have a underground or water base or something like that which was not claimed and nobody could find me where I was so yeah so I'm just going to end episode 1 and I'll be back with episode 2.